All right, chat. I'm back. Let's check. Back. <clears throat> Let's check. I changed this, changed it up. Where now my webcam is plugged into my this PC instead of that one. That one's. Hey, you good. I know. Yeah, sure. All right, into the next one. Let's do it. We're out the planes. We're out another. Uh, Moreland Inquisitor. Needs first strike until end of turn. No. If you use that ability. Okay. Uh, this creature deals combat damage before creatures with that without first strike does not apply when creatures fight Deals combat damage before creatures without first strike. So can I activate that Ability. Uh, control gets plus two, plus two. I'll use it on that one. That way he survives. Throw that out. Next, activate ability. Creature deals combat damage before creatures without first strike. Does not apply when creatures fight. Still kind of confused what that means. Uh, four and four. Ooh. Well, he's gonna, he would die in either way. But I can do six damage. Oh, wait, but I could also knock it out. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna kill it. Dang. Oh, he survives. Wait, was the other one not four? That's annoying. I'm about to take eight damage right now. Oh God. That's half my health. All right, help me out game. Uh, tap all, all your opponents control creatures. You control life link until end of turn. First throw that out. Whenever growing Ceratops attacks other creatures you control gain double strike until the end of turn. Until the end of turn. Okay. We'll throw that one out first. Uh, those two are tapped. That'll kill me. No attacks. I have to I don't think I think that's GG <laughs> I think that's GG right there oh no yeah that's game okay go again go again 
Uh, no. Creatures with first strike deal extra damage before any other abilities. You can even combine first strike with other spells and abilities. Deal damage before any others. I'm kind of still kind of confused exactly what that means. I get that they deal damage before others, but what does that mean? They attack first before the other ones attack. Oh, are you trying to open it? Yeah, I think that's how you clamp them together. So now I could do that. Do I want to though? Nah. sure if this is a good idea but yeah I guess okay so now it's back again and next no attacks and turn I'm gonna take at least four damage resolve S. 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 My turn. He could defend it with that. Nah, there's no point. I'm gonna take eight damage right here. There's no way out. Okay. Throw that out. Tap all creatures, creatures you control, lifelink until you end your turn. Okay. Damage dealt by a creature, planeswalker, or spell with lifelink also causes its controller to gain that much life. Oh, really? Okay. All attack. Yes. Bang, 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 bang. Again, again. Ah, nice. Okay, and we're back up to 18 again. Even though I can't defend, I just got a lot of health back. That's okay. Throw that out. I don't think these are going to activate anymore. All attack, go. Activate ability, right? Ooh, double strike. That's nice. Activate ability.
Again, again. Ah, oh, two. He's at two. He's gonna hit me by eight. What no. What are you doing, step <laughs> Yo, Luca, thank you for the follow. Oh, no. That's GG. Damn it. What did I do wrong? I don't know what I could have did differently. Creatures with first strike deal damage before any other. You can even combine first strike with other abilities. Oh, I think I see what they're saying. So you can deal damage before you're in a fight so then you can knock an opponent out. I think that's if I'm interpreting that correctly. So I can put this guy out and if he goes against a two and a two, if I do first strike, then I can do damage before the other person can defend. Therefore killing them, I think. If I'm interpreting that correctly. That's probably why they had two left. Because if I stayed that strategy I was on, I would have survived and won. All attack. That's why he tries defending that one. I see now. Ah, oh, crap. Wait, can I activate? He's going to defend against that. Now, there we go, okay. So now I take, I have to take eight damage because otherwise that'll knock that one out and there's no point. So. But now he's at 12, which I don't think he was at that low beforehand. Boom, boom, eight, your turn. Throw that out, then uh, throw this one out. Now throw this one out. And then all attack. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. One more time, one more time. Okay. Now he's got two left. So as long as we get two damage in, we're good. Which I'm pretty sure I was able to do last time. So there's eight damage I just took. Throw this out. Doesn't really matter. Activate ability. Can I activate it twice? Yeah, you can. All attack. Activate. Boom, boom, boom. Go again. What? Why didn't it attack again? That's GG. What the hell? He had two health last time. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Hmm. Try again. All right. 
right. Here we go. At least they give you the same cards. It's just trying to figure it out. Drop that, drop that. Then I'll attack. Boom. Throw this one out. First strike. So now I would take four damage regardless, unless. So if I activate this ability on this one and I have this guy attack and I do this, he'll destroy that. He should destroy that. One attack. Now throw this to there, two and two, four. So that kills that. There we go. They pull out another one. Huh. I think I... Hmm. I just realized something. All right, wait, concede, retry. I so that first person, if I do first strike, there's no need to to use that um, the ability because it's gonna die regardless because it has one health. Okay, I think I got this. And then that means I'll have two left over, which then I can use both of those to take out the two flying dudes that he has. Um, while they're defending and then it'll be GG's. Okay, I got this. I got it this time. Let me check audio. Let me check audio. Okay. All right, so throw this out. Planes, throw that out. Okay. All attack, yes. They throw the one person out. Yep, that guy. Okay. Throw another plane out. Activate ability. Now just have this one attack. So that way this one, you can't try blocking that. Okay, he didn't try. So, if I fight it, it'll kill this one. No blocks. Throw this out. Activate ability. Wait. Hmm. I can't activate the ability on both of them yet. Okay. Now, do this. That'll kill that. Next. And then he'll still be left over. Next. Uh. No damage. Or no blocks. I just need to be able to activate the ability on both of them. There we go. Now, this will take out both of them. Just whichever, what? No, I meant to activate this, what? It didn't give me a chance. Target blocking or being blocked. It just went, it automatically went with it. What the hell? 
What happened? When I activated both abilities, I meant to strike, and then when he was trying to block that one, then I would have used that at that point. But it didn't let me, so then I lost both. One more time by myself, and then I'm gonna look up a guide. Cause I don't know otherwise. Planes. Put this guy out. Place that. Place that. Okay, all attack. Yep, two damage. Okay. So that guy comes out. I activate ability on this one. And only send this one to attack. He may or may not try defending it. But if he goes to defend this one, then I'm screwed. So, one attack. Okay, he didn't defend it. They pull out the flying ability. I'm not going to block it because that would kill this guy. Unless. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's no point. So, no block. Throw that out. Okay, so now. Can I activate both? Activate that one. Why doesn't it let me activate the other one? I have two left. Oh, it requires three. I see. Crap. Whatever. They want to block it? Fine. They're not blocking the other one. That's fine. And what? Wait, can you still activate the ability? Wait, pay to cancel. It's not blocking it. Activate ability. Activate ability. All attack. It didn't let me. Again, it didn't. It's not let. It says block. But then it's it's supposed to let me pull this out and use it on them for blocking. I don't get it. I don't understand. Literally, I don't understand right now. Now we're at this again. I don't know, dude. Oh, he's dead. I'm pretty sure. Because when I assign my attackers, target blocking or being blocked, you control gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. There's no way I can win now. Because I'm all I'm out of everything. <sighs> One more try. Because if I use it before they're being blocked, then... Huh. Really? Alright, one more... One more try. Alright, one more... Throw that out. Throw that one out. Other planes. Throw that. Choose attackers. Throw that out. Okay, so now activate ability. Only set this one to attack. You know what? Whatever. We're just going to go all out attack each time. Okay, so now we'll kill each other. But, okay, that's actually... 
all right i think i have a new strategy because if i save these two for this one guy then i can take out this one twice throw this out activate ability set attacker they're gonna try blocking i use this on this one next that's dead same thing activate ability uh activate ability again how next combat so choose attackers one attacker are they gonna try defend next to blockers throw this in boom dead what they keep coming up with that oh my god I can't. I can't. I'm gonna die. If I set him to attack, 100% I die. No attacks. I'd rather take four damage. Yeah. One sec. One sec, chat. that out throw this one out and all attack I think because they can't block with any there we go Now, this is where I'm gonna get confused, but that's okay, I think. Okay, so activate ability. Next, all attack. It doesn't matter. Come on, man. Come on.
like barking but does he get double strike now all attack all right all i need is one person to get through with one damage and we're good there it is i didn't even understand how that was gonna work out but oh my god so many tries apparently there Nothing. Uh, let me, yeah. Yeah, they have, well, she sent me, there's like a bunch of comments. Sec chat. Samurai man, what is that? Upgrade deck. Next one, here we go. I wonder if you can set it so it continues to uh, play the music even when you click out, or, click, or audio, I mean. Play audio while I'm minimized, here we go. Now if I click out, okay, cool. Planes, Vivian Reed. Another planes. And saying ace, double strike, nice. And how much does it require? Okay, it's just instantly gained, I guess. Another planes, another fencing ace. Uh that one has a lot of health. But if I bump this guy up by two six. Okay, it's doable. I don't know. This is our first round, so I'll try it. Okay, Let's throw this out. Boom. That's one. Boom. Nice. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Because it did bump it up to three, and then three and three. Got it. Choose all. Now, whichever one it defends. Bump that one up. So three and three, double strike. Next. Oh, you know what I should have did? Wait, what? Okay. Interesting. Oh God, what is that? Dinosaur. Can't attack or be blocked. Or block. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> All attackers. Attack. Bang bang. Are they do the question is do they have an ability that can remove that? What is this? Hexproof? A player or permanent with hexproof cannot target a player or permanent with hexproof and can't be target of spells or abilities your opponents control. Okay. 
So they're saying I can't use this on that. If I pull this out. Okay, yeah, you can. That's okay. Next, all attack. Now, if they try blocking with that, so we pull this one out and do this. Ah, oh, great. It's going to kill him, though. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. Okay. In turn. Nice. They pulled out another one. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Wait, can they defend? <sighs> Crap. Uh-oh. I might have did this wrong. Damn it. I did it completely wrong. Oh, no. I meant to... I should have put that down first. have to put this down i have to if i don't put it down on this guy then i'm screwed all attack go boom 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 damn it they would, they would be at two right now oh okay let's ggs unless if they pull something out uh plus three and has flying yeah, do that. Boom. 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 Okay. That one. Why is it so, like, I feel like the balancing is very off. That last one was so difficult for so, so long. But then this one, it was, like, literally fine. Upgrade deck. weird it turns it to black oh that's why it looks black but it's not it's not it's actually the same green as this as the green screen that's funny look because this matches this it makes it look black it looks like i'm drinking some like black goo or something like oil straight oil from uh the local uh whatever it's called all right so next one has to be against a player yo educator thank you for the uh the five bits man gonna head to the gym and relax and rest the, and relax the rest of the evening but i'll leave that tab open hope you have a good stream thanks man happy saturday and uh enjoy the gym all right here we go first First game with this against another character or another player. I have a feeling I'm gonna get wrecked, but hey, that's all part of the uh, experience. Keep seven. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll keep them. Throw that out. Probably going to get wrecked. I'm expecting it, but. That's okay. They have basic plans. Charm stay when enters battlefield a plus one plus one counter on each other creature you control named Charm stay. Oh boy. Are they about to throw out another one? Charms stray, not Charm stay. Another basic land. And passive orator whenever another creature enters the battlefield you control you gain one life oh boy whoa that one is that like a special card uh if you gain would gain life you gain that much life plus one instead agent of vitality gets plus two plus two as long as you have 25 or more life well sure uh choose attackers 
Well, he could use that one to defend by... Uh... Cancel. No attacks. One sec. Just need to respond real quick. Enter this battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Boom. Same. Same. Uh, no attacks yet. I have four outs. This one requires five. Okay, nice. I'll be able to put this one out. Oh, wait. No, it's an enchantment. Oh, This guy will gain flying. Wait, they don't have any flying people. So I should have fought with Agent of Vitality. Oh, I'm so dumb. I just realized that. Crap. I don't think they would have been able to defend it. Okay, throw that out. Throw this out. Uh, whenever you would gain life, throw that. Boom. All attacks. Uh, except for that one. I just need another one more card that gives me uh like I can place them out and then I'll get a bunch of life health oh man can attack or block oh great that's not good all I have is planes cards right now Come on, deck, help me out. Help me out here. Whenever our attacks create two. Oh, really? Well, shit. <laughs> That's not good. I mean, I can block this one. Right. Lifeling. Damage dealt by a creature with the lifeling also causes control to gain that much life. Yeah, block. That's fine. Unless if they use play a card, they, they that means they have an option to play a card. They can play one card to save it, or I'm going to take five damage regardless. Yep. Damn it. And I lost a card in the process, but we gained another card in the process. Use attackers. Oh no, this is my demise. <laughs> ah, great. Double strike, okay. All attack, bang, bang. I'm gonna have like nobody to defend me though. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Bang. Oh my god. Boom, 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 boom. Plus one, plus one. Oh, dude. GG's. I might as well concede at this point. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going all in. Take me out. I don't care. I 
think. Do you lose anything? Defeat. Yep. Woulda did so many hits on me back there. Not bad. All right. Well, there's that one done. Uh, next we can go blue or green. I'm gonna I go black. I and guess. a dead answer. Uh, we have packs to open, I guess now. Yeah, we do. Sure, we could open it. First, first. And Drana, the last blood chief. Flying. For a four, whenever Drana, the last blood chief attacks, defending players choose a non legendary creature in your graveyard. You first in that battlefield, plus one, plus one on a, uh, the creature is a vampire in addition to its other type. Okay. That's cool. All right. Home. You have enough Play. gold for a booster. Oh, do I? Well, I don't want to get, get one, one from the store. No, not yet. I don't want to yet. Start. Uh, ramps up big spells by creatures that can tap for mana. Okay. Let's see how uh, this one goes. Swamp. Death touch. Any amount of damage a source with Dutch death touch deals to a creature is enough to destroy it. Whoa. Creature gets plus one. That's an instant. This is a creature. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a plus one plus one. Choose an attack. What if? <laughs> Any amount of damage a source with death touch deals to a creature is enough to destroy it. Target gets minus one, minus one until end of the turn and gets an additional minus one, minus one until end of the turn for each card named compound fracture in your graveyard. Uh, next. All attack. Actually, one attack. Go ahead, defend it, defend it. Well, according to that, oh, okay, in turn. Resolve. As to attackers, I turn. One sec. attack go next next no blockers assigned next. it's all s boom
swamp. Next. All. Go. Next. Next. Enter. I'm an idiot, dude. Ugh. Bro, I'm so dumb. I shouldn't have used that then. I should have used it now. Like that. Boom, boom. That guy gets plus four, though. Damn it. Long as shit. That's what I was afraid of. Death touch. Uh, I mean, they can block, right? Yeah, whatever. Ah. Damn it. <sighs> now they're just going to pull all those. Who's gonna block it? Nobody. Because they would instantly die. Boom, boom, boom. Three left. Unless if I pull some crazy, like. There's no way. I'm done. Nope. I can't do anything. Really? I can't believe I applied that ability on the opponent's turn. One sec. Uh, did you know killing a creature that tap for mana may stop your opponent from casting big spells? So they want me to use it on those. It seems like. I right, try again. Throw that out. Throw that out. Throw that out. All attack. Go. Boom. Boom. Oh, and now we'll do even more damage too because these guys. Okay, I see. Boom. Boom, boom. That puts it up to three. That's seven right there. Okay. Throw that out. They can block it. Okay. Three and three. Boom, boom. To stall attack. GG. There we go. Oh my god. I was definitely overthinking that one a lot more than I should have. That's okay though. A lot more than I should have. Okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Upgrade deck. Play the next one. Johnny. Swamp. Return from the graveyard to your hand. Okay. Is it a require? An ability. Swamp. Uh, destroy a creature with power of two or less. Combat. All attack.
in turn. Resolve. I'm assuming if it wanted me to use that ability, it would have wanted me to use it then. So that's what I did. Two or less. Okay. And then minus one, minus one. Wait, uh, if an opponent lost life this turn, put a plus one, plus one. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, we can choose that. Block. And then it returns to your hand. That's nice. That's cool. <laughs> nice. All attack. Yeah. 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 Oh no. Gonna gain a lot of health now. Oh boy. Okay, wow. Every time it actually automatically goes back into your hand. Well, whoops. And then can I place this other one out? No. Another creature enters the battlefield you control, gain one life. Gain a life. Uh, this one. I forgot that they can't. That was useless. Shoot. I'm dumb. Uh, sure. We'll block the five. Oh, nice. Another one of these. Wait, I can't put that one out. Oh, it requires you to use it and then you can put it out. I see now. Six and two. Well, if they don't kill me this turn, then I can kill them next turn. Yep. There it is. We just play all these because why not? And they can't defend it, so there's a boom. All right, cool. Definitely requires a little bit of a strategy for that one, but it's doable. Claim prize, upgrade deck. I like how they give you cards that, um, like it replaces cards that don't have an ability with cards that do. Uh, red often relies on instant to surprise their opponent when they least expect it. <laughs> so we're gonna be need to be prepared for this one. Swamp. Love the the cracking bones. For that. <laughs> Throw that out. Boom. Take it in on that. And then I could use it again to kill that guy completely. Or I can go to combat. Sure. Fight me. Nope. Oh. Defend it. Okay. Or don't.
resolve. S. 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 I turn. Throw that out. Likely a target creature gets plus two, plus zero, and gains indestructible until end of turn. So. These are instant, so I can play them whenever. All attack. And then. Plus two. Sure. Uh, any blockers? You're blocking? Okay. Boom. Swamp. Each pet only loses two life and gain you gain two life. Ooh. All attackers. Uh, do I want to? Yeah, because it'll just go back into my hand. Two, two, and two. Throw that out. Uh, that's an ability, right? Yeah, each opponent. A6. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. I think there's four here. How many is that? A2 more. Uh, we don't have enough. Okay. Now, throw that out. Uh. Yeah. And then, okay, that works too. Uh-oh. 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 Oh no. Oh no. No! Damn it. No blocks. I should have, but... Power and toughness are each uh, equal to the number of swamps you control. Whoa. Uh, yeah, all attacks because that'll just come back to my hand anyways. I should have. Oh, crap. If I don't block, it's GG's. Oh, my turn. Okay. Uh, plus two. That uses that, and then that requires one. If I use that, that requires two. Throw that out. Can I still use unlikely aid? Yes, target creature. Boom. Nine, attack. Bang. Uh, if I can do one more hit, then we're good. I don't know if I'm gonna survive. Oh God. I can. I'll have two health left. But right here. Boom. Because they can't defend this attack anyways. Zero. Nice. This one's sketchy. This class is very sketchy. But, I mean, it kind of worked. Ah, shoot. All right, last one before we go up against another opponent, officially. <laughs> Jeez. The rat. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
they have flying. Enters the battlefield, deal one, ten, uh, one, blah, blah, blah. one damage to any target. Uh, throw that out. Boom. Death touch. Plus one, nice. Throw that out. Uh, as an additional, as an additional cost to this cast, to cast this spell, discard a car. Dis discard a card. Uh, okay. Um, sure. Submit. And then it just comes back to your hand anyways. Ha, huh, that's funny. Uh, plus two, they can defend it with that one, but they didn't. That's actually pretty smart if you discard a card, because this card just goes back into your hand anyways. Huh. Throw that out. Solid archer. Deal one damage to anyone. Enter the draw card. Flying. The flying cost. One less to cast. I could do it on this one and then kill it with the compound. Oh wait, no, I won't be able to. This guy. Plus two. All attack. Has lifelink whenever a creature an opponent controls dies a plus one plus one on this creature okay so throw that out throw this out uh let's enchant this guy then there's one minus one minus one i can use it on technically this should die but I'm nervous, so I'm gonna do it on this one to make sure that it's dead. They all gain that, all attack. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Two, four, six. Oh, wow, I, wait, where do I gain all my health from? Oh, no. Great. That's not good. Can I discard this one again? <laughs> Alright, discard that one, I guess. Damn it. Well, they have to defend. Or not. They're dead. In an ideal situation, I feel like they would have defended with these guys, but that's okay. All right, that's all the the CP or well computer matches. Upgrade deck. Last one is against the player, which I'm probably gonna get wrecked for, but that's okay. Ugh. All right, let's see here. Your opponent is choosing whether to keep seven cards or get rid of one for a mulligan or to mulligan. I'll keep seven. Sure. It doesn't really matter for me. I'm going in these expecting these to lose. Hello. Nice. 
yeah? How about that? Add one mana of any color. Gains indestructible in ten minutes. Turn. Add one mana of any color. If you control a creature with four or greater, and add two mana of any one color instead. Next, all attack. Go. Blockers. Will they block it? The damage. Nope. And turn. Resolve. You may mill three cards when world sharper dies. Return all. Wait, return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Oh my god. S. My turn. Uh, I'm gonna go attack. Blockers, I get to choose. Do it, do it. No, you want to. Next damage. Return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Oof. Just one. And turn. Testing. S. Oh God. Attacks, you may mill three cards. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this guy. I don't know why I'm doing that now, but whatever. Put a plus one, plus one, untap that creature. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I think it's still good. Yeah, it still gets down because it's two. I had two of them in my graveyard. All right. Let's see what we got here. Historic creature. So how many land cards do they have in here they have one and they have that too um discard a card they'll get one back so that's fine attack go ahead block it Denton, 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 There's an additional cast at the beginning of your turn. I'm putting lost life, but a counter on. Yo, Jerry. Yo, thank you for the uh, the raid. How's it going? Also, hello. Oh, why the notification didn't go off there? Oh God, what did I just do? Sec. 
Uh, okay. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> thank you, thank you. How, uh, how's it going? How's your stream? What, what'd you play? Uh, oh jeez. Actually, pretty even right now. Beginning of your turn, of uh, your upkeep, if you control a creature with a power four or greater, draw a card. Plus two. Okay, destroy a creature. How many do I have? Boom. Get that out of here. Plus two. Next combat, all attacks, attack. Next. And turn. Tried it for the first time, FIFA. Or F1 2018. How did... I don't know why I said FIFA. Uh, how did that go? They conceded. What? Oh my god. First PvP win. GG's. GG's. Huh. Well, okay. Wow. That was literally my first one. Um. Cool. That was actually kind of neat. Get packs. Uh, I'm curious. Okay, so you can get one pack for a thousand. So we could get three, but I think I'm gonna hold off. And yeah, you can get some more here. Important. This cannot be played in the current standard format. Ah, uh, so you can only play the current ones. You can't play older Magic cards, apparently. 2020. How does it work? Wow, then? great progress. I don't know if I'm even very badly that anymore. cars aren't are very easy to control, I can imagine. <laughs> Want to learn more? Come visit me at the learn page. Huh. So magic literally requires you to buy new cards each season. Um I'm trying to think now. Mastery. I think that's your level. Or, oh, it's this thing. It's like their battle pass thing. Unlock mastery pass. It is only good for 18 days, though. It'll be lost after those days. Gems can be purchased. Six uncommon, or six common, three uncommon, zero rare, zero mythic rare. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Magic difference between acts. Uh, opening packs wanted you to say. I uh, Magic the Gathering's new set boosters want to make opening card packs even more fun. 1993 draft book. Booster set boosters will feature a guaranteed rare mythic card. Mythic rare card. MTG Arena. Act. Just. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's um. Oh dude, I totally forgot. There's like cards that you can redeem or something. Or um. Yeah, there's uh crap. Hold on. Uh bolstering magic gathering. Uh start cards and decks to get you going. And let's face it, if you're reading this article, then you're probably a new player. Yep, exactly. Things get overwhelming. There's 20,000 cards and magic spread throughout over 80 expansion sets with four new ones released every single year, plus some smaller non-official cards and sets over the years. So where the heck do you start? True. Exactly. Which packs to buy? Uh, 
me see so you're looking to be casual or competitive scene get there eventually start at the same place and the first thing to think about is what new packs are for plenty of different formats that you can play most widely known as standard format that needs the most thought when it comes to buying packs for deck building because the sets you use in this format change every year this is called a standard rotation and read more about that over here okay brawl is another very popular format mixing standard and commander a popular paper format is historic which allows you to use all sets on the client to make your deck Tormer is basically standard with a larger card pool and different ban list which is great for players who have cards from older sets and may not be the best place to start for new players can only be played in historic and your cards for it at least at the moment are very limited i don't know why it's all of a sudden getting loud uh i suggest sticking in the standard and maybe roll for a good time at least until your standard legal cards end up rotating into historic anyway starting your collection that's what we're doing right now upgrading standard decks that's what we're doing as well uh and going into its turning deck or better build your very own from scratch you need to know which packs to go for not every set is going to hold up the same so each one uh to do the cloud cards Theros beyond death does this exce exceptionally well yes the sets rares and mythics also dynamite You'd be crazy not to want to get your hands on them so which ones do they show available i'm just curious i'm not going to buy any yet but i so zendiric rising core 2021 ikora uh theros beyond death that's the one that this one's talking about Throne of Elderain. And then these are previous ones from 2019 and so on. Okay, so you can only play these older cards from uh, in the historic mode, but these you can play in current. Okay. Uh Hi, what are you searching for? I play Magic Gathering Arena for almost one year. Maybe I could help you. Um, yo, what's going on? Gassy gas. Gassy gas. gas. Uh, right now, I'm just like reading an article. Like, I'm just curious what the difference between these are. So from my understanding, are these like, like, is this one going to have like the green cards in it? Mostly. And then this one will have a variety. This one red. I'm assuming this one I'm not sure blue maybe and this one I don't know like what makes each one of these different I know there's different sets that they come out with each year uh that's what I'm, I'm reading a, an article on to kind of explain different expansions yeah so So each one of these have like different cards for different um different decks, I guess. Or, yeah. So it's not like one's limited. It's just like completely just different expansions. That's it. So they'll just have different cards. Some are legal and standard format. Uh turn standard. Let's see next thing i'm thinking about is when picking when to focus on what to currently meta looks like uh that the metal or mtg arena subreddit is also a great place to start tomorrow legal in a new format called historic yeah i just read um the explanation on what uh historic meant because i did see that there's like i've been browsing a bit so i saw that um what that i just read exactly what that meant uh old expansion are legal and historic but not standard okay uh mtg arena discord i don't know that yet mtg 
beginner's guide. Here we go. Here's all the redeem things. Uh, how do you redeem codes? Okay. Redeem codes, promotions, accounts, top right. Oh, really? Oh, oh my God. It's literally right there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so let's see if these still work. Vote successful. Okay. Cool. Play Allegiance. All thanks to the uh, Magic the Gathering uh, subreddit right here. Oh, gotta re enter that one. Code failed. Okay. Cosmetics. This one says cosmetic as well. Code redeemed. Okay. Summon Knight's Pledge. Yo, what's going on, Dev? <laughs> Sparkle Druid. Code redeemed. Druid of the Cow. Oil Fungus. Code redeemed. Nice. All of them seem to be working except for that one. Let's try this one more time. Starter Styles. I don't know if it's gonna. Yeah, I guess not. Okay. Uh, Parallax Potion. Good redeemed. Swear I was up but fell back asleep. It's all good, man. <laughs> I am sorry though. You missed me playing through the uh, the one. Uh. Okay, cool. So we just got a few packs from that for free, technically. But the only thing is these are older ones, correct? If I look at these, yeah, I think those are from, yeah, right here. So they can be used in historic. They can't be used in standard though. How's magic going? It's pretty cool. Um, I just finished, so I, I did the uh, so far with the color challenge things, I did white and black today. Uh, and then we just have blue and green left. But I was looking over some other things real quick too. Matter Gather Gathering Arena Zone have some codes also. Uh... <laughs> Magic the Gra Gathering Arena Codes 2020. Ooh. Wow, there's a bunch. Free friend. Failed. Island Wilderness. Failed. Uh, Happy Swamp. Oh, it says expiration date. It's to be determined. Ooh. Uh, wait, go back to store. Those all expired not too long ago. Yo, thank you for that. Uh, gassy gas. It looks like we get a bunch then. Oh my god. That's so cool. Some cool basics. These must be like the newer ones. Yep. Here we go. Oh my god. This is this is fun redeeming these codes. See, this is what I was wondering is if they had stuff like this. Like where you could redeem stuff uh Play Theros. They need to update the subreddit then. Because, <laughs> oh my god. I bet white was badass. It was interesting. You, uh... There's a lot of times where you, um... That's cool. Level up. Enlighten me. Art acquired. 
written in stone. Some of these cards are really cool too. Leo the Shield Mage. Cosmetic only, not a card. Okay. Inner Demon. Cosmetic only. Over the Moon. What is a, a War Glass card? So these are just styles. So if you have that card, I guess you get the style of it. Play War Spark. Shiny Goblin Pirate, 19. Okay, Redeem Failure, Sparkle Druid. Let's see if this one works. Okay, I think these might be the ones that we already did. Super Scry. Play Allegiance. I think we did this one as well. It's free, right? Yeah, it is. Um, I believe it's on PC, though. Contain a oh they really, Re oh tabletop pre-release packs contain a, a unique Magic the Gathering card code which can be redeemed for six booster packs of the corresponding set. As far as it codes goes, this will be a best bang for your buck in terms of boosting your collection if you're purchasing it separately and not attending a, a pre-release. Limit one code per account and expiry date as per on cards. I wonder if my because I got the core 2021 release pack, so I wonder if I have one somewhere. The economy of Magic Gathering uh, Arena is fine. The best way to farm is to learn the limited format, but format of draft. Buying packs is better if you're good at drafting. Which Prime? Oh my god, I forgot that there's Prime stuff too. Expired codes. Let's try one. Food court. <laughs> That's awesome. I need to check this thing out. So, is what exactly is drafting? Is that um, drafting? Think a little deeper. Drafting. If you're into something a little more challenging and competitive, drafting might be what you're looking for. This could be the best bet for free-to-play players since if you got what modicum and a skill, even gra grasp. Uh, drafts are events on Arena that you can enter using either gems or gold, which you pick one card at a time from rotating packs to form your deck and sideboard. Format limited to the expansion. Okay. get all the cards you pick which means uh which means it's easy to grab cards that you know you want to add to your collection a lot of people do this different with her cards which is called rare drafting i wouldn't suggest doing it with common and uncommon because it's still worthwhile to build a deck good with your uh good deck with your picks or for winning not only pay you to draft over and over again but you also get a decent number of packs depending on how many wins you can manage also a better bet in general to build a deck around a great rare or mythic than common or uncommon. Oh boy. <laughs> but a collection through draft can be a much more uh, fruitful for a couple of reasons. First, you know that very least you're getting a couple packs worth of cards, 45 cards to be exact and exactly what they'll be. Okay. So is that is that like a game mode where you open is that similar to like the game mode that's like out there now apparently I guess where you continuously like if you're playing against somebody you open a pack and then everyone selects one after the other um like drafting IRL is that how that that works too 